got a sign-up sheet up front. For the third month in a row, I brought my mic system. I had new mics, but one of the cables got fucked up just now. So we still ain't got no mics, but that's okay. It's a small, intimate gathering tonight. So hopefully we can all project ourselves and we don't need no damn mics. So, um, you know what? Y'all know the nature boy check. We're going to start with that because two of the first two people that came in here said they wasn't feeling confident tonight. And I feel kind of fucked up too. So we're going to do a nature boy check. For those of y'all who ain't been to one of these things, nature boy check is I'm going to count to three. And on the count of three, we're going to breathe down into our belly. We're going to think about what's bothering us, what feels good, what's going bad, what's going right. Whatever it is that's stressing us out. We're going to swish our oxygen all around our lungs, our gut intuition, all the way down into our crotch, down our legs. If we got to however deep you got to go, well, I'm going one. Two. And then when I get to three, we all gonna woo like Nature Boy Ric Flair. That's the Nature Boy check-in. God damn, do I need it tonight? <laughs> One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> In case you don't know who I am, I am Dirt God Raven Mac, the one and only natural born Southside VA Greater Appalachian Unorthodox Priest of Southern Gothic Futurism. And this is a Southern Gothic Futurist Haiku Slam. What does that mean? That means we are living in the end times where we don't give a fuck because we're going to be the stubborn ones that build what's left after the end times is over and we look at them in the rearview mirror and go, man, that wasn't that bad, was it? We're doing all right right now, ain't we? That's what Southern Gothic Futurism is about. I ain't got no preamble tonight. We ain't got a whole lot of people signed up, just four people on the haiku slam thing. But before I get into it, I want to let you know we are sponsored by a Charlottesville-based nonprofit called Joy Menagerie. That means I got $100 in my pocket. I ain't got but four people signed up for this thing. <laughs> Woo! And we're still giving away $100 for people writing short form poetry in 2023, a.k.a. 1445. And you know why? Why? Because cool. you should get rewarded for creative nonsense. You should be rewarded for doing the things that make you feel good. Know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Woo! So we're going to have a normal haiku slam. If anybody's sitting here and hears, like, why is that bearded dude up there yelling at everybody what's going on? You could write three or four haiku in the 20 <laughs> minutes before we have a battle roll, and you could come up here and win some of that $100. It's that Easy. We also got an orange bottle champion. This is the orange bottle championship. We got a purple bottle champion that resides in Richmond right now. The orange bottle resides with me because I am the champion. I done defended this title two times on this stage already this year. And I'm doing it a third time in a best of 19 haiku death match against Audrey Parks. Woo but for now, with my raggedy speaker and microphones that don't work, we're going to have our regular haiku slam. Kiki, you going to judge. Audrey, will you pass the flags back to Kiki? This is my friend Kiki, a.k.a. Kashara Griffin, and I want her to judge, and I'm going to tell you about another nonprofit called Operation Social Equality OSE. We all got Instagram, YouTube, and all that stuff. Instagram, YouTube, you can follow them, Operation Social Equality Kiki, Sizzle, Rich too. I'm going to include Rich. They from Charlottesville. They started this years ago. And I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I'm going to proselytize for a minute. I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all know I go by Dirt Guy Raven Mac so much I got it tattooed on my leg. <laughs> there wouldn't be no Dirt Guy without OSE. I'm not lying. I am not even lying. Because they organized a no-filter rap battle years ago. And I was reading a lot of books and struggling with a lot of things and trying to find my way as a piece of shit white trash in America. Did a class transition into a salary job at UVA. And was I no longer what I once was? Am I what I am now? I don't understand these people I'm around all day, but the people I come from don't accept me the same way anymore. What am I? And I realized I wasn't white trash. I'm a dirt god. I'm a dirt god. I come from the dirt. That's special. That's good. I learned a lot of valuable lessons early in life. So they had a no filter rap battle, and that was the first time I called myself Dirt God. The very first time I stepped out in public. So I am thankful for Kiki and Sizzle and all they do, because they help make me a better person. Because if I was still struggling with not being a Dirt God, I'd be all fucked up in the head. Not that I'm not anyways. 
Judges, I got three of them. Matt, you've been here before. You know how it works. Ali, you saw it last time. Kiki, you judged before. But I'm going to tell y'all anyway. Y'all see we got a purple flag and we got an orange flag. Purple going to go first, orange going to go second. They're going to read a haiku, three judges. You can pick which one you like better for poetic, whatever. You like the way it feels. You like the ambiance. You zoned out, wasn't even paying attention. You just look at the two people and say, well, it's got to be that one. <laughs> Hold the flag up. Two out of three flags decides the round. Whoever loses the round goes first the next round. We go to a predetermined amount of rounds to see who wins and advances. I don't got but four people on the sign-up sheet tonight, so we're going to start with best of nine. We're going long distance tonight. We're going to do best of nine to win five rounds, and I'm going to call up on the purple side to kick things off my better half and my worst half, all in one. Y'all give it up for Dolly. And on the orange side, definitely my worst half, but also my better half, too. Y'all give it up for me. <laughs> I'm pulling double duty. You see, we ain't got but four people, so I got to pull double duty. Dolly goes first. Oh, wait. I didn't tell y'all. Masking is optional. I got masks in the bag. If you want one, I wore one in, not on stage. I got this weird-ass little box. Y'all know what this is? It's called a Corsi Rosenthal box. You can get a couple filters and a box fan and build this bad boy and it works like a $10,000 HVAC system, guaranteed. Sucking up the COVID particles and when it was wood fires in the air, it cleans the wood smoke out the house. So if you got old people you know that you live around and is suffering from this pandemic that we pretend is not real, look this up. It's a cheap alternative. Dolly, you get to go first. Affluent white men declaring bankruptcy while keeping stable housing. Oh. An old house remains exposed to seasons, still part of natural world. Oh man, that's purple and purple. Y'all hold them up high just so I can see because I didn't realize until now that purple and orange are not that far apart. <laughs> Dolly won the first round up one to nothing. Yeah, We're going to five. So I get to go first now. Let me see. Yesterday's blossoms wilting in a secondhand vase from the Goodwill. Time for SUV driving UVA students to make me hate them. <laughs> All right, I took that one as one to one. <laughs> Now, Kiki took a little while, and I'm going to warn the judges. Luckily, two flags went the other way. The only mistake you can make as a judge is if opposite colored flags go up, and then the whole room turns and looks at you and waits for you to make a decision. <laughs> Dolly, you go first. It's tied one to one. We're going to five. And I'm loud, boy. Affluent white men resentfully playing at poverty. Rubbing coconut oil on curvaceous ass in circular motions. <laughs> two to one. I'm up two to one. Everybody Can like you say that again? Everybody like the ass. Yeah. Uh, five years together, only one concussion caused by goat behavior. <laughs> Dolly took that one, two to two. See, y'all see, you gotta dig deeper in the stack, bob and weave, ebb and flow, up and down, I go first. A life without joy begins to feel like a chore. Practice having fun. Five years together, still sex in only two states, sleepy and lazy. Ooh! <laughs> That's you, up three to two. I get to go first, down three to two. The prophecy of eternal prosperity ain't based on spirit. I don't have to do everything, but can't let anyone else. All right, so that one went to me, three to three. Got a battle going on. 
See, we have best of 19 haiku battles three, four times a week. <laughs> I guess telling you that you're acting like an asshole will backfire. <laughs> Imposter syndrome's impossible as there's no meritocracy. Four and three. Ooh. You can win it. I could. You could. I might not. Sad sack, second sons, mad at dad's success, playing acoustic mic night. <laughs> Promises to do good with the profits from selling your soul never works. Hmm. Dolly took that one four to four. Whoever wins this one will advance to the final because we ain't got but four people. <laughs> All right, I get to go first. Let me see here. Defining a path through devilish labyrinth called America. Fundraising letter threatening cannibalism vetoed. Eat the rich. <laughs> Judges. And that one went to me. Woo! I won. Can you believe it? No. <laughs> All right, I won. Y'all give it up for Dolly. <laughs> so it's August in Charlottesville, and that brings up memories. And I will say good comes from the bad because on the one year anniversary of August 2017, I had just gotten out of a long ass marriage that was like about three billion years long. And I was living in Charlottesville and I was trying to reestablish my life and I volunteered to do community care on the one year anniversary of 2017. And that's how I met Dolly's raggedy ass. <laughs> Cute. So good things come from bad. All right, coming up next. On the purple side, made their debut last month. Made their debut and came in hard and strong with the lyrical skills. Made it to the final. Had to write extra haiku on the spot before the final. And still did a wonderful job. Y'all give it up for Audrey. And on the other side, who also been coming up here all year long and it was so impressive, took me on in the main event last month, but did not beat me, though had a very <laughs> valiant showing. Y'all give it up for ISIS. Woo! Now I can tell y'all right up front, this is gonna be a clash of styles. <laughs> Audrey, you get to go first. We're going to five. Um, great. Fog fills my teacup. I take a sip, velvet beam slowly fill my mind. Hey Raymond, it looks like you dropped something. Your standards. Let's go out. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are all pickup lines. <laughs> That's That's all I wrote. <laughs> Audrey took the first round one to nothing. Isis, she down one to nothing. And Isis did say all hers are pickup lines tonight, so we got a theme. Okay. Hey girl, you look like trash. You should seriously let me take you out. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> the large machine creaks as the casket lowers down upon the bearer. Judges. Oh, it's up to nothing. Up to nothing, okay. Isis. You pick up lines and fall flat. I know. You don't want to go home alone. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find my like, worst one. No, I don't even know. I'm just going to choose one. Are you my big toe? Because I'm because I'm gonna bang you on all my furniture. <laughs> Audrey. Twirling bodies sway on the long on the lawn of bygone days as summer closes. Judges. That's orange, right? Yeah, I get to. Isis took one. I get a knot. Down two to one, but one to round. Audrey, you get to go first. Up two to one. You know depression. It's losing your one flashlight in the dead of night. Mm. Are you looking for great sex tonight? No? Well, then I'm the gal for you. Ah. <laughs> Judges. All right, Audrey took that one. Three to one. Okay. Now we're going to five. five. We're going to five. I was best of five. Nah, we're best of nine. We're going to five. My bad. I wasn't clear on that. All right. Oh. Isis goes first. Three to one. Nature Boy, check. One, two, three. Woo! Are you climbing? 
to change because you're hot as fuck, but there's no future with you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Audrey. I solemnly swear we will end up wearing no a bird could ever fly to. Judges. Alright, Isis took that one. Three to two. Audrey, you go first. You're up by one. Under the moonlight, and Al veers his eyes to you, bewilderingly. Isis. Are you a toaster? Because I'd really like to take a bath with you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Audrey took that one four to two. Four to two, Audrey is up. Isis, this could be your last shot, last call, perhaps. Get your best pickup line out. I don't know that any of them are good. Um, it's all subjective. And it's a big world. There's eight billion people. Okay, here, this one's really trashy. Give me a second. I just need to wipe off a place for you to sit. <laughs> Audrey? Uh, I step out to sing the song of the beginning, Sunlight and Thunder. Judges. And Audrey took it, y'all. Excuse me. Audrey makes it to the final, but y'all give it up for Isis. So it's going to be Audrey against me in the final of the Haiku Slam, which feels a little awkward. So I am going to gracefully bow out of the final to Dolly. You will take on Audrey in the final. Is that okay with you? I ain't trying to have like double duty because I'm going to give y'all time to prepare. Anybody else who wants to write a Haiku, come up. My mind is focused on this bottle. I'm thinking about this bottle. Because I won this bottle June 8th. June 8th. So for like three months, I've been sleeping with this bottle. I got diagnosed with sleep apnea because I've been sleeping with a bottle. <laughs> Every night, I cuddle this bottle before I go to bed. I set it on the nightstand. I blow it a kiss. I have a little spotlight that shines on it. It lives beside my bed. When I wake up in the morning and I'm fumbling with the alarm, I'm like, oh man, it's another day. Damn it. Oh, bottle. There you are. I'm attached to this bottle. But I gotta put it on the line because you can't keep a title just because you got it. You gotta defend it. And you gotta defend it against good people. Yeah. Great poets. Yeah. So that's why Audrey Parks is coming up to take the title tonight, potentially, Ooh. in a best of 19. Come on, Audrey oh. Parks. <laughs> this will be the first person to get to 10. Ooh. Gotta go to 10. All right. Let me find my staff. Where did he go? No, Wow. You know, I got, oh, you know what? I'm going to tell y'all about something real quick. It's Charlottesville Zine Fest. Y'all know about that? Yep, yep, yep. Coming up in September, I'm part of the organizing committee. We're actually doing a zine making workshop at the bridge this coming Saturday. Yeah. If you're like, I don't really know exactly what a zine is, come in there, holla at us, we're gonna tell you. But I was finishing up a zine last night writing about rare vibes, and you talking about your hair it made me think of it. I got this secret spot I go to by the railroad tracks with this old bridge and these steel girders, and I sit there and I know that the Amtrak is going south out of Richmond, out of Charlottesville at a certain time of day. And I know that a freight train might sit there waiting for the Amtrak every now and then. And if that freight train sits there, then I can scribble on it and vandalize it real quick while nobody's watching <laughs> and get my name circulating around nowhere. So I was sitting on this steel girder and it was nighttime and the track light turned red, which meant that the Amtrak was coming the other way and no freight train was going to stop and I wasn't going to scribble no dirt gods. But that's okay because I was sitting under a bridge and the crescent moon was coming up. It was a beautiful night. The cicadas were making noise and the Amtrak's coming and the lights are there and the Amtrak hits the horn every damn intersection. The Amtrak's crazy with that horn. They crazy with that horn. Hitting the horns. I know the Amtrak's coming. The lights are there. I'm like, damn, I'm about to lean back. And I know I'm safe because I'm on the girder, because it would have wrecked 19 times by now if it wasn't safe there. The Amtrak comes by and it's like three feet away from me. And the wind is just whooshing and my beard is just like <laughs> And it was a perfect moment, man. I loved it. It was a rare vibe. So, now I wrote about that last night and I thought about it when you was trying to do your hair. I know where. Yeah. All right. <laughs>
Go get your hair chopped off. <laughs> All right, Audrey, you get to go first, best of 19. Okay. No more friendliness. We're serious now. Love is never love that cannot give love up. Okay, that's fair. Oh. That's that was the haiku, wasn't it? No. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's, just, that's just my commentary on the art file. Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. That's also the dainty white gloves slapped across the face. <laughs> that's my style. <laughs> is how you become real. Mm. All right, that one is Audrey. <laughs> one to nothing, Audrey is up, and I get to go first. Manifesting as many dead presidents as I possibly can. <laughs>
torso tattoos on white boys from suburban homes. <laughs> Summer humidity into a dull breeze. <laughs> five to five. We got a battle going. I get to go first. Sporting a lucha mask to courthouse arraignment. Just misdemeanors. <laughs> <laughs> Protecting my energy like an evil global supervillain. <laughs> <laughs> Six to five. Audrey is up. All right. I get to go first. Statues of rebel heroes standing far longer than the test of time. You can be anything you want to be if you simply want to be. <laughs> Seven to five. Audrey is up. Uh -oh. Back against the wall. <laughs> Sitting underneath meteor showers, soaking up star nutrients. Aww. Manifesting a community where I can freely share my art. Yes. All right. <laughs> Seven to six. You get to go first, you're up by one, right. one to ten. Just because someone can, doesn't mean that they want to, or that they will. Expressing one's love with cursive letter tattoos above the eyebrow. <laughs> seven to seven. Challenges to mortality. <laughs> Eight to seven. Uh -oh. Eight to seven. Whoo! Hey, you know what? Oh. Nature Boy check. Right, yeah. You want to call them? You want to count them down? What do I do? Just count to three. Nature Boy check. One, two, three. <laughs> Woo! Index to determine lounge. <laughs> you got down on that is Z. Yeah. Eight to eight. I get to go first. Eight to eight. That's the first one to win two more. Wow. Lightning bug prelude before the celestial map slowly revealed. I am a winged thing, a thing wing. A form and flight, a concept for me. Wow. <laughs> Nine to eight. Audrey oh, is knocking man. at the door of dethroning me. Oh, <laughs> Trackside cicadas, nighttime tinnitus as I stumble across ties. I live under a rock, which is why I play it on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and Audrey took a love! <laughs> First of all, 
congratulations to Audrey. What? $25 for writing haiku on your business cards. <laughs> and What's the date? Twenty second, right? Yeah. Eight twenty two twenty three. Oh eight. Two 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 three. Audrey Parks. Aww. The new orange bottle champion, y'all. same week in September, October, and November. And I am scheming up in my head that we get to having a streamed tournament of death matches sometime this fall that will go across the world because I got people that love these things that can't ever come to them. We're going to do a streamed event of the eight top people. So for the next three months, if you feel like I'm so good at this, I want to be on the TV, I want to be on the internet and show people how good I am. You got to prove it on the stage. So for the next three months, keep that in mind. And our orange bottle and purple bottle champions will hopefully be part of that field. So, all right. Coming back up on the purple side, y'all give it up for Dolly. And coming back up on the orange side, y'all give it up for Audrey. Richmond at Shelf Life Books. I also want to mention this, and I mentioned this because Audrey came out to this slam last month, and then I saw her at the poetry slam that Matt hosts, at the poetry reading open mic, open mic poetry thing that Matt hosts at Visible Records, yeah. and this is happening Sunday, Spellbound Poetry Slam. This person's trying to get a poetry slam team together to take the Southern Fried Poetry, so if you feel Slam poetry in your heart. Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. <laughs> Go out to this event, flex your skills, show people what you got, share your voice. This is going to be a good event. I'm excited about it. I feel like I'm too old to be messing with that type of thing, you know, because I can't memorize things that well. And if you don't memorize it, I don't feel like you deliver it as well. So I'm just telling myself. The window is shut on that for me. But I am encouraging all of y'all to go take part of that. And that includes you, Audrey, because you did wonderful at the poetry open mic as well. I've been very impressed. Dolly, you get to go first. We're going to five. Does that work? Five? Best of nine? You got nine left? You think you got nine left? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Probably. Yes. That's five. Fuck that guy. What guy? All of them. Send me back to country isolation. <laughs> <laughs> Woven together, two dead leaves fall to the earth. Slowly, they're complete. Judges. That's one for Audrey. Up one to nothing. Dolly gets good. I don't know why I can't remember which side is purple and which side is orange tonight. What's wrong with me? There's plants to plant, but there's a drought. No one else seems to notice but frogs. Ooh. When young, you wonder what secrets lurk in the dark night of adult life. Ooh. Damn, Dolly took that one. That was a good one, Audrey. Yeah, I Let me know if this is yeah. good, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be telling me about that late at night. Like, why are you her? 
Audrey, <laughs> one, one. Um, hmm. See. Check for me under the wild rose bush caught between thorns and soft petals. Dolly. Seeking balance between my needs and everyone else. Rubber band stretched to thin. Judges. That one goes to Audrey. Up two to one. Dolly, you get to go first. Giant Depp is now a little Debbie snack cake for my teenage loins. <laughs> Audrey. What we surely are is a fragment of beyond, a glimpse, a short song. Judges. Dolly took that one, two to two. I'm digging both of y'all. Audrey, two to two, you get to go first. <clears throat> Peering past kudzu stands the forgotten tower, grand and grown over. Beep, boop, boop. It was more fun to play adulting than to be one. Judges. And that one goes to Audrey. Three to two. Three to two. Audrey is up. We're going to five. Dolly, you get to go first. Hey, hold up. I didn't say something. Y'all being kind of quiet, and that's cool and all. <laughs> but I want to make sure those of y'all who ain't seen this before think you're supposed to be quiet. He's supposed to be quiet. You can be loud if you want. You can say something if you want. I mean, don't interrupt people reading, but if you got to react loudly, react loudly. Like, I don't care if you make noise, you can snap, you can yell, you can break chairs, you can tear up tables. Whatever you got to do to express how you feel about these, do it. Okay? Or you can just vibe quietly. If you're a type that vibes quietly, you can do that as well. All types are respected, okay? Yep, you first. Yep, you first. <laughs> uh, what's killing us is individualism at all costs. Take care. Yeah! <laughs> Audrey, now we talk. <laughs> I come back, I write, remember to remember to never forget. Woo! All right, so Dolly took that one three to three. Audrey, three to three, you get to go first. Electric silver, electric silver, never, never say goodbye. Dolly. Yelling, Dodo, you're a jerk. That goat who never loves me enough. Judges. Dolly took that one up four to three. Four to three. Audrey, you get to go first. Going to five. This could be it. But yo, I'm going to say right now, having not heard a single piece of poetry from Audrey before last month, you're a damn good poet. Thank you. Yeah. 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 All right. Am I carrying? Yeah. Okay. Uh, some black, others blue, air barely leaving my lungs remembering you. Oh. Old ham can't hear. I love you, but our eyes know the truth anyway. Judges. And that one goes to Audrey, so it's four to four. So this is going to decide. I got money in my pocket for both of these people. But one of them will get $10 more. So, <laughs> Dolly, you get to go first. This is it. Palm drying up in heat smells tangy with life and death. Audrey. Uh. Furl and unfurling, the feathered shadows collide, swaying to the wind. Hold up, judges. Read it again, Dolly. Palm drying up in heat smells tangy with life and death. Audrey. Furl and unfurling, the feathered shadows collide, swaying to the wind. Judges. And that one goes to Dolly, so Dolly wins it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! But Audrey did not lose by any means because you came up here and you ruled again and I really love having you do this. I love the natural presence of your poetry that you have. $15 for Audrey. Thank you. $25 for Audrey. $25 for Audrey. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all give it up for Dolly. So I don't know if y'all noticed that last round they both read the haiku and I asked them to read it again. I don't know how many of y'all facilitate workshops or read with other people. Sometimes when people, and I, this is not true about Dolly or Audrey at all, 
But sometimes when people are first learning to share their voice, they don't have the full confidence to say it out loud. So sometimes it's nice to tell somebody, you know what, I love that. Will you read that again? Just to get them to do it with more spirit. Because sometimes we are writing things down that we're nervous about and afraid to say out loud and finally writing it down to say out loud so when we step up to say it, we're like, here's my thing that I'm going to say because I've been storing this up inside of me for all my life and I'm afraid to say it, but I'm saying it. And you say, yes! Read it again. And they go, yeah, it's okay. I can read this. And they read it again louder. So I just tell y'all about that because we do that sometimes on the stage and I do that in life because that's how people learn to say something. You know what I'm saying? You want people to share their voice. All right, all we got left is a battle roll. Anybody that's got any haiku left at all, whether you want an orange bottle, whether you didn't, Come back up, and we're going to work through the rest of them. Yes. Whoever is last will win $10. Mm -hmm. Who I got up here? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Who's coming up? I got Audrey. Jackie. Is it that one now? Yes. Yeah. Dolly. <laughs> Raven. <laughs> and you're coming up. Yeah. Jackie. You, come, you going to do it, Jackie? I just go like straight if up. If I can find this, because I don't got it. You got, you got any left, Audrey? You gonna do it again? Okay. Who else we got? Anybody else? Anybody else gonna take a shot at it? All right. Kiki, do you wanna? All right. We gonna wait. We gonna see if Jackie, because Jackie made a dramatic last minute entrance, and I've been bugging Jackie to come in this thing forever. She finally showed up. So we gonna see. Okay. Wait. I can't find a note. Well, I'm going to call other people. Like yeah, I'm going to call other people. So each person will read one and then they go sit down. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. On the purple side, Isis. On the orange side, Dolly. You can just stand back there wherever. There's a battle rule. So. You said I should sit down after we do? Yeah, if you lose, you get the hell off the stage. That's you lose. This is to all the sexy ladies out there. You a medium rare steak? Because I'd still eat you when you're bleeding. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Dolly. Learning to speak, not sulk or make self smaller. Hard relearning. Judges. And that one goes to <laughs> Dolly. Y'all give it up for Isis. Thank you. I didn't know Isis since she was little. And now she's an adult, and obviously she's a horny ass adult. <laughs> I'm proud of Isis. Purple side, Audrey. Orange side, Raven. Uh -oh. <laughs> Considering authenticity while playing my own stunt double. <laughs> Polishing bezels of internal wisdom by the new moon's darkness. I won that round. Oh, you did. did I? Did I, not? Oh, you did not. I lost that round. <laughs> <laughs> the they are hard to see. I found them. Oh, I'm good. Well, you on the purple side. Come on up. This way. Purple side, Jackie. Orange side, Inya. Jackie, you get to go first. Make it, look, we're going to do a Nature Boy chapter. This is Jackie making her debut oh, up here yes. on the stage. <laughs> nature Boy check, one, two. Now remember, when I'm counting, you're breathing down into your belly, getting all your negative or too much emotion, and you're going to expel it. One, two, three. Oh. Woo! All right, Jackie. Black has always been mesmerizing beauty, top shelf collector's item. Inya. June, honeybee, drunk off calendula, takes a snooze on my shoulder. Judges. And that one goes to Jackie. Y'all give it up for Inya. Side Dolly, purple side Dolly, 
orange side Audrey. Ooh, the battle of the minds right here. Battle of the minds. You said the minds? The minds. <laughs> Two intelligent women flexing their poetic intelligence to 17 syllables or less right before your eyes. With another young intelligent woman waiting to take on whoever advances. Dolly. Uh, white Buddhists talking coded racism, then intoning namaste. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the meeting. Let's think about what we could be thinking of. <laughs> Judges. All right, Dolly won that one. Dolly advanced, but I got to say, I work at UVA and half of my damn life is meetings just like that. <laughs> meeting to talk about what we might have a meeting about. Let's make a list to meet about. Purple side Jackie, orange side Dolly. Friends now become competitors. <laughs> Will these 34 syllables create a permanent rift in yes. this friendship? <laughs> Jackie, you get to go first. Religion is as simple as cutting up pies and stolen lands. Dolly. It's okay to not know the path. It's okay to bumble until you do. Hold up, judges. I want to hear it again. Jackie, same one. Religion is as simple as cutting up pies on stolen lands. Dolly. It's okay to not know the path. It's okay to bumble till you do. Judges. And that's going to Jackie, y'all. <laughs> Jackie and Jackie, how many haikus did you do? You did two haikus. That's 34 syllables. You got $10 for writing 34 syllables of poetry. And a per syllable, <laughs> and a syllable per dollar ratio, that makes you one of the highest paid poets in America. <laughs> So that's what this is. I'm Raven Mack. Y'all know me. If you don't know me now, you do. Follow me on social media. I tend to flake out and kill all my accounts from time to time. That's just how it is. I got a table over there with buttons and zines. You can purchase and support me. Some of my books, too. I got a new book, Looking for a Home, that came out. And actually, my 19-year-old has self-published two books of poetry this summer. And they have outsold my entire adult life. <laughs> and I'm simultaneously so proud and very humbled at the same time. But y'all check out my books I got over there. Feel free to support me. You don't got to. If you judged or competed, take a zine or a button, whichever one you want. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Please come back next time. Please bring some people that want to compete. And please tell others because this is a community event. It is not my event. It is not a couple people's event. It is all of our events, so I want you to feel welcome and bring all this to come along, all right? Thank y'all.